Hi there, I'm Robert Renman from MasterGuitarAcademy.com. Today I want to show you how you can use a looper pedal and some effects to create your own instant jam tracks. It's actually a lot of fun and it's great practice for yourself, both for recording purposes and for playing in time. So I'll be using a Line 6 JM4 looper pedal for the loop and I use an M9 stomp box modeler from line 6 for effects although it does have a loop function in itself as well but I have both hooked up so I decided to use the JM4 today for the looping. I also use the Tube Screamer and a chorus, uh, an analog chorus for effects and uh, the guitar I'm using is a Hellbender from hellguitars.com it sounds like this <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we can come up with then. I think I will start by use, creating a bass line, something very simple. Uh, I'm using my, my M9 now, and uh, this is without any tube scream or any distortion. And I'm gonna add what's called a pitch glide on the M9. So it adds that low uh, 12 frets below note and it takes away the original uh, dry tone so it creates a fat, kind of a fat fake bass sound. And um, what we need to do now is to play well in time. So I'm going to try and use a groove, I'm going to play like this. And it's just a shuffle on the low E string. And uh, I need to first practice playing it. I'm using my thumb to get a better sound. With a pick it gets so sharp and I don't like that. I prefer a, a rounder attack on the note. Okay, and when I'm ready, I'll, gonna, I'll hit the record button on the, on the looper pedal and it will start recording right away and then I play for one bar or two bars, however long I want, and at the end of that bar I need to press the record again, and then the loop will continue to play. Or I should say the loop will start, it starts looping around that same bar, but it's not recording. And then I can switch a different sound and create something else, and I can practice to that loop, and then when I'm ready I'll just hit the record again, and it starts recording all the while this loop is, is playing in the background so I can use it for practicing. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna start practicing first and then I'm gonna hit the record button to start re the recording and then hit the record button to stop the recording and hopefully I get a, a nice tight sounding rhythm bass line. Okay, here we go. Not perfect, but it'll do for this purpose. You can always redo these things as you uh, as you work on on your recording skills. Most of these pedals you can, such as the JM4 and, and others too, you can you usually have a clearing function so you can undo the last layer or undo the whole thing and just keep practicing it. Okay, so let's see what should I do next. I'm gonna add a a three chord progression just for fun. I'm gonna play a B minor with this voicing. Uh, good thing I wasn't recording there because I had the wrong sound. 
I had that, that low bass thing happening, the pitch glide. I'm taking that off. And this is the clean tone. The chord I'll be using is uh, a, a B minor with this inversion. An A triad. And an E7 with this inversion. And I'll change my sounds a little bit more mellow. And how I'll play it in time will be like this. But to make it more fun, I'm going to add a chorus effect on top of that. S sort of simulate some sort of keyboard Leslie thing. Okay, now let's record it. I've been just practicing so far, so I'm going to hit the record button and add these three chords. Here we go. And then I hit the record button again to stop the recording. So now I have that going. Cool. What else should I do? Maybe some more rhythm guitar. And there's a dog barking, in case you're wondering. That was not me playing. I don't know how to do dog parks on the guitar. Be quiet, dog. Okay, uh, let's see. Should I do for the rhythm? Something like that. We'll see how it goes. I mean, that's even better, right? Two, three, four. Record and here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Not not the greatest thing I've ever done, but <laughs> it's for practice, so it's okay. And now uh, I have the loop going, and I can start jamming to it. Best thing I've ever recorded, I admit, but hey, it was an example, right? It's a great way to practice recording and practice playing because you really need to work on your timing as you you are recording these uh, loop ideas. So uh, I recommend doing this on a regular basis, and it's a great way to uh, also work on songs and uh, songwriting and ideas for creating riffs and and so on. So have fun with your looper and. Uh, check out what I'm doing at masterguitaracademy.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.